Irene is cooking us a crown of grouse in sous vide with some butter and thyme. And then she's going to pan fry it, so that hopefully the breast is not in any way dry. On the side of that, Irene's got a little tiny phyllo pastry, and on top of that, we've got honey around parsnips. The thing is, right now, that's a very sweet plate of food. Tim, our art curator, we know as being wild and quite inventive. This is a brief taking a traditional product, and now what's Tim going to do with that? Whatever Tim does, I don't want him to throw so much at the plate. I definitely have an energy that's somewhat frantic and probably a little bit stressful to watch when I cook. OK, maybe at home it's a little bit different. I can go mad, but in the MasterChef kitchen, it's a whole different kettle of fish. Tim, you made it to a quarterfinal. How does that feel for you? It feels surprising, but exciting. I haven't had the best start. I've made a mess again. Do you usually cook with game? Grouse in particular is my all-time favourite. I could easily serve you a grouse with bread sauce, game chips, red currant jelly. Mm. But why not do something a little bit different? What are you going to do that's different? The bread sauce is going to be a celeriac puree, still with that nutmeg flavour. The game chips are going to be beetroot crisps, flavoured with some juniper salt. Then there's going to be some chanterelles with some hazelnuts. And um, then just some kale, and then a sauce with some Madeira. It is a slight modern twist. I hope William appreciates it. Thank you very much. Annabelle has really surprised me. To have that much skill and knowledge in somebody so young, I'm really hoping her success in the last round has given her a real boost of confidence. I'm a little bit afraid of game because it's not something that I've been exposed to growing up. So when I received the brief, it was quite um, a shock. Could I leave it in for a tiny bit longer? I'm using a sous vide today. I don't have that at home, obviously, but it was the best way to cook the venison. Watch loads of YouTube videos on it. Hopefully, it'll all pay off. How do you feel about cooking for William? Massively scared to cook for William. It's something only dreams are made of, really, isn't it? I just hope he likes it and I don't mess it off. I'm normally just cooking tea. And now I'm here cooking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen much game in Middlesbrough? We've got the North Yorkshire moors, so there's quite a lot there. I mean, I haven't shot anything, but I'll cook it. We know that Annabelle's a classic cook, and there are some classic flavours on her plate, because we have venison, butternut squash, and a red wine sauce. That's fantastic. But now we have got a crust on the outside of the venison with parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs. We've also got truffle mashed potato. That is a lot for a poor piece of venison to handle. Annabelle has cooked panko and parmesan crusted venison on truffle mash with Swiss chard, butternut squash, beetroot puree and shallot rings, served with a red wine sauce. I think it looks beautiful. I mean, that venison is really glowing, isn't it? You've created an incredibly soft and beautifully textured piece of meat. I I've never heard of putting a parmesan crust around it. And it's a clever way of seasoning. I love your squash. You know, there's still some texture there. And your gravy is rich and deep. I think this is a really epic dish. It's a perfect example of why game should be on more menus. Really high praise indeed. It's very well presented. It's got flavour in abundance. I was really concerned about that parmesan on venison. It works really nicely. Your sauce is awesome, and I think it makes the dish. The quality of that jus that is sweet, thick and sticky with buttery truffle mash and perfectly cooked venison is enough to make me want to bounce up and down and dance. <laughs> I just can't believe that William said that about my food. I'm just astounded. You don't realise how much it means until someone says such glorious stuff about your food. <laughs> <laughs>